Father, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. All praises and glory to you, Lord. Miracles and miracles, supernatural miracles. One more day you added to glory for the kingdom of God, Father. Lord, you are revealing the hidden secret. My son and daughter, all those who have given up, even after I have called you by name, all those who are telling why I have to go through, why Lord is not listening, my prayer, why I should go one after the other blow, whoever has been struck, Lord, you are encouraging them. Nor I am tired, nor I am weak, I am everlasting God. I will bless you, the blessings. The shield which has covered you, my son and daughter, just go ahead. I am with you. Even if I am late, according to you, I will come in the perfect time, you are saying, Father. All praises and glory to you, Lord. Stuti Gana Mahime Yalaningana Panadratana Yesu Nanadali. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even and earth will pass away. Lord words will never pass away. Matthew 24 verses 35. Brother and sister, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful if you and me had faith and love and lead that life. Today, many are being started their journey. Again, they reborn with Jesus' teaching. But today, so many are saying, why I have to go through? His Lord is not listening to my prayer. Why Lord is not listening? And many are going for a vastus. Many are going and asking for the priest and pastors to come and bless, bless, bless. And they are not giving a time to wait also, brother and sister. Today, all those who are asking, Lord, why, why? And questioning the Lord. Lord is revealing brother and sister. Ask Lord, don't question the Lord. Draw line between grace and sin and be firm out there, brother and sister. Leave your life with righteous emotion. Nothing in your way it will come. Lord will restore. All those who are asking through prophet Isaiah, Lord is encouraging brother and sister and scripture saying, Isaiah 40 verses 28. Isaiah 40 verse 28. Don't you know, haven't you heard the Lord is the everlasting God. He created all the world. He never grows tired or weary. No one understands his thoughts. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Scripture says, Isaiah 40 verses 28, for all those who are questioning the Lord, all those who are given up, all those who are putting their efforts with the doubt, all those who are still going, only Jesus is the way. Wherever they have a questions, Lord is telling through prophet Isaiah, don't you know, haven't you heard, the Lord is the everlasting God. He creates all the world and he never grows tired or weary. No one understands his thoughts, praise the Lord. Brother and sister, you and me should draw the line between grace and sin. We should live a life with a righteous emotion. We should ask Lord for a clarity. We should not doubt the Lord with the questions. Don't get struck thinking only one way. That's over, brother and sister. Bold thinking in faith leads to the bold results. Choose a clear direction. Going both the ways gets you nowhere. Keep doing what is holy without cribbing and complaining. With faith, keep on going. Have an attitude of even if Lord comes to rescue me, fine. If not, also fine. But I will be keep moving in the holy way. For the judgment day, when Lord is blessing me, I will receive with the peace. This attitude should be there, brother and sister. Know about Lord's thoughts. Who can know about the Lord's thought? But you and me can keep moving unconditionally in faith. Wonders. Everything will happen, brother and sister. One after the after blessings will come, but we should never be tired. We should never be tired and grow where there is a space for you in the flourishing. Where they, Grow where there is a place for you to flourish. That is only in the faith, brother and sister. Lord is the everlasting God. Everything comes to the end. Also, still, Lord will restart, brother and sister. Everlasting God. 
he created this world with one word when it was already a disorder one command lord said light be over there and light came brother and sister for adam and eve lord said i have given you the eden garden cultivate and guard it only lord said no one can understand its thought we can't even imagine brother and sister to know about the lord it is only one in the faith we should keep moving only then the blessings happens for us the example is abraham always comes faith means abraham faith means abraham why we call why we tell when abraham been called for the calling it was he was 75 years old sara was old when lot his nephew and lot's worker and abraham workers they had a dispute for the pasture land for the cattle and sheep abraham says we are relatives we should not fight whichever the country you want to go you go whatever you are you take and go and he chooses to go so dam gomra brother and sister abraham came for a calling there were disputes still he did not had any son nor his children but faith never was been shaken today what we have to get we don't get immediately we crib suddenly some displeasure happens means we give everything and conclude that and we struck over there we should not be there like that brother and sister how abraham for that age of 90 99 years how in that age he emerged in the faith matter sir lord brother and sister he never had a question to the lord he never had a question to the lord those times when loth was in sodam gomra the four kings were ruling the five another the four kings will attack the five kings of sodam gomra nearby then the four kings will be so powerful they will loot all the sodam gomra all the five kings all the people who are living over there they run for their life since it was no tar roads there was nothing they fell on the pit one among the who escaped was loth's servant he comes and tells to abraham the four kings have attacked all the five kings and they looted wealth and also all the food materials including your nephew's loth also listening this word he will gather four more people and he will go along with the 318 people to fight against that four kings abraham old enough lord's calling is only is there still lord has only lord told to go to canaan and he is there loth not even is aware abraham is coming for rescue he gathers 318 men 18 men to attack this four kings because abraham knows lord is not tired nor lord is weary abraham knows jesus christ of nazareth lord almighty is an everlasting god he did not doubt in the faith he was keep moving in the night he attacks in the four direction and he wins over all the four kings brother and sister all the four kings he wins over then all the loot will come back everything it is there when abraham came back to from his victory over all the king there one among the king also was a priest that is melchizedek who was the king of salem brother and sister he brings wine and bread and says may living god bless you forever and ever and brother and sister there he blessed him the most i and gave him the all that praises to the father in heaven brother and sister may the most i god gave him victory over all the enemies he praised and abraham gave all the loot it was there brother and sister abraham takes and give tithes to the priest today so many we are earning we don't give tithes to churches but in the loot all he brings he gives the tithes there and the king 
will say take all the loot one among the king will so the king will say take all the loot just give my men i will go back and brother and sister there this is what abraham said brother and sister he never had a shortcut he said like this and if you and me say like that we will be blessed forever and ever brother and sister and scripture says genesis 14 verses 22 23 and 24 genesis 14 verses 22 23 and 24 abraham answered i solemnly swear before the lord the most high god maker of heaven and earth that i will not keep anything of yours not even a thread or a sandal strap then you can never say i am the one who made abraham rich i will take nothing for myself i will accept only what my men have used but let my allies and if a shawl and mamre take their share praise the lord praise the lord he gives a tithes but he says i will not even take a single strap also of my sandal because tomorrow you will not say that you made me a rich he had a faith in the lord almighty how much happiness he had he was encouraged brother and sister even situation or circumstances don't give up lord is there to take care don't get into the short terms and he says my god will make me rich that he had an happiness the attitude to glory for the kingdom of god and also he says i don't want anything but give the share what belongs to his allies and he says i don't want anything but i will use what my men have been used for the weapons or what brother and sister their faith simultaneously a presence of mind to please the father in heaven he was depending on the lord almighty he did not ask anything right emotions was being expressed toward their brother and sister that is abraham's faith today which side you and me are leading life matters a lot brother and sister today many in the wrong emotion they say you take it and go many in the wrong emotion they say give me everything and they say there with all that emotion he was being blessed brother and sister adding to this seeing this what way he led the life brother and sister lord blessed abundantly and this is what lord said to abraham and today if you and me are not in the shortcut if you and me are depending only on the lord almighty you and me are not depending on the situation or circumstances giving our faith we are still strong enough means lord is telling this blessings for you and me brother and sister and scripture says genesis 15 verses 1 genesis 15 verse 1 after this abraham had a vision and heard the lord say to him do not be afraid abraham i will shield you from danger and give you a great reward praise the lord praise the lord, praise the lord brother and sister is a 40 verses 28 that is where as i told don't you know haven't you heard the lord is the everlasting god he creates all the world he near never grows tired or weary no one understand its thoughts brother and sister he was dave abraham was only expressing 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 and lord came in a vision and said after this abraham had a vision and heard the lord say to him do not be afraid abraham i will shield you from danger and you and give you a great reward brother and sister when you give a lot to a life life will give a lot to you that is faith in action have a courage be bold fortune favors the brave bold thinking in faith leads to bold results and abraham never hesitated in anything he was stepping forward when lord gave when abraham was win over with the right emotion with the presence of mind only then lord came and brother and sister today many opportunities as a human beings we have satisfied our own emotions we said yes no in the wrong timings and today whatever the challenges are there let us not blame the creator let us take a responsibility and step forward like abraham and we will have a great reward no one can come near to us let us be wise brother and sister life is beautiful choose a clear direction that is jesus teaching don't get stuck thinking only one way it's over think in all the direction in the faith restoration will come live your life with the right emotions like abraham draw the line between grace and sin you will be blessed abundantly father all praises to you lord all glory to you father miracles which you have blessed is forever and ever because you are everlasting god lord 
ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಟು ಯು ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ತುತಿ ಗಣಮಯ ಮೇಲ ನಿಂಗೇನಪ್ಪ ನಾದರ್ತನ ಯೇಸು ನಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಆಮೇನ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ